When the competition is stiff, sometimes it helps to be a little flexible. And that's the idea behind the carbon fiber softball bat. Manufacturers can tweak the stiffness of carbon fiber to produce a bat with some elasticity. It's a striking innovation. Carbon bats are a high-tech way to improve your game. Incredibly, these hard-hitting bats start with pliable sheets of carbon fiber infused with a special resin. They crisscross the sheets and then iron the side with the paper liner to melt the layers at the seams. A hot steel roller then applies some serious pressure to fuse the carbon fiber layers together. They slice it to size. Now they peel away that paper liner and spiral the carbon fiber around a steel bat form. By changing the angle of the weave, they can fine tune the bat's elasticity to a league's specifications or to an individual player's performance level. They wind polypropylene tape around the carbon layers to squeeze out the air between them. They bake the carbon in an oven for two hours. This cures the resin impregnated in the carbon, so the many layers become one. After they slice away the tape, they slide braided weaves of carbon and fiberglass over the fused carbon form. They secure the braided tubing with tape. They pull a layer of thick carbon over that followed by a super strong synthetic weave called Aramid. One last taping and this softball bat is ready to take shape. They place the carbon wrapped forms in a mold. As the mold closes around them, they prepare an epoxy resin. They then inject the resin into the mold it permeates the many layers wrapped around the steel form. The mold applies hot pressure to bake the layers together and define the contours of these bats. It takes just a few minutes in the mold to transform the many layers into a solid bat. This five-ton puller now extracts the steel form on which the carbon bat was built. They use this pneumatic equipment to test its flexibility. A lathe now spins the bat as a cutter moves in and carves the hardened resin base into a knob. The knob on the right now meets league specifications. Now this carbon bat goes for another spin, so they can sand it from every angle. They dip the bats two at a time in black primer and hang them to dry. The bat then takes on a more colorful appearance with a variety of spray paints. They transfer decals with production information onto the barrel of the bat. And a laser burns the company logo and serial number into the painted carbon. They cap the bat by press fitting a polycarbonate plug to the barrel. Resin completes the seal, and they add extra to adjust the bat's weight to leak specifications. They pump the resin in through a hole in the knob, and it flows up to the barrel plug. Then they weigh each bat to verify that it's within an acceptable range. Using a hydraulic ram, they drive a steel pin into the hole in the bottom of the knob to achieve the correct balance point. And it's time to wrap this carbon bat with synthetic leather, making it easier to grip. These high-tech bats are now ready to team up with raw talent, and they could blow the competition out of the ballpark. <laughs>